Algeria. Yes. Yes. We, yeah, we get angry yeah, quick. And we lie, yeah. we are full, full of love and mercy. But we still, that's how we speak, all right? How are you doing yeah, today? But for me, it was like. A, I know you're confused. <laughs> if you can, let me go home, man. <laughs> but how are you today? Uh, good, good. You see, now I'm going to speak to you, I'm going to speak to you calm. Huh? Yeah, but when Arabs meet each other, World War Three. Go crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, because, I mean, I understand that discussion about God. Sometimes yeah. some have different opinions depend how they understand Quran or, I don't know, yeah. probably how they understood during the life, the way of God, uh, will, that will. The will so of God. Okay. That's why people always have different opinions. But the one who probably know better is the one who study all his life to understand exactly the God will and Anyway, I, I believe that God inside, when you have God inside, you cannot get angry. Cannot... What we say as a Muslim, we don't, no, we, I mean, even Jesus got angry in the Bible. Yeah. Remember Jesus, thank you very much. Remember Jesus called the, called the, um, the, 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 no, no, the Pharisees. He called them what? He compared them to the, he called them the, the son of the fornicators. Yeah. yeah. And that, to call someone son of fornicators is not like a, uh, what they call it, a, it's not a joke in the, the stand. Gentile woman too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. To so, gentile woman. Yeah, yeah. So he don't say insult, but we say we get angry. He's human being. Because remember, at the end of the day, we are human beings. Okay? So like even Moses in the Bible, remember Moses, the prophet of God, one of the mighty prophets. Oh, and, sorry to cut you out. That word behind you. That's just all because of you. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. You know, okay. No, no, because please. And now you're stopping me to give dawah to this non Muslims. Yeah, yeah, let me. Don't make it again. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry now, don't make it again. Okay, khalas, inshallah. I'm coming to resolve the problem. I'm coming. You need Algeria to resolve the problem. I'm coming. Pure victim yeah. mindset of these people, man. It's crazy. Yeah. They cause the problem and then they and then they run away and cry and they spend the rest of the time crying about it. Anyway, what I was gonna say, so you know we 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 what I was gonna say. Anyway, I was going to say, also we don't say God is inside us. I mean, Prophet Moses, Moses punched up the guy. Habibi, Habibi, Habibi. Prophet Moses punched up the guy and he killed him. He was angry, you know. So human beings, we get angry. But what I was going to say to you, that um, do you have any questions to me? Ask me any question. Don't worry, I'm not going to get angry. Okay, first of all, I know that... Uh, in the Old Testament, for example, it's saying that, I mean, all the Old Testament is saying just one single God, and the New Testament, is, they talk about Trinity. That's why I'm a bit confused, I would say, the Bible that is the right one. Because all the Old Testament been always talking about a single God, no Trinity, no nothing. So You're right, mashallah, yeah. go on, that's true. And that's one of my way, when I speak to Christians, what's sincere, I say, when you look to the Old Testament, all, all through the Old Testament, always one God, one God. Moses, Abraham, Noah, Jacob, Isaac, Jeremiah, Daniel, Samuel, all of them came, there's only one God, correct? Then what happened? We have Jesus, according to some Christians, he said there's a three God. Then who, who comes after Jesus? Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, the, the Father and the, the Son. Yeah, yeah, no problem. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, yeah? Then we have Prophet Muhammad who came after, he said there's only one God. So logically speaking, the false prophet, if we, if we do accept that Jesus said he was God and three God, all of that, he was a false prophet. But we don't accept that. We said Jesus, even Jesus himself said, there's only one God. Yeah, However, no, Paul, if you look to Christianity... He's the son, he's not the God. He's the son yeah. of God, but no, authentically you are all son of God. So. No, no, we, we, our respect, we don't use this term son because what is ambiguous. Because in English language, in Arabic language, were you from originally Poland? Romania. Romania, yeah? Even in your language, when you say, I have a son, you're going to think I'm a married man, or this person is my stepson, or this person is younger than me, that's why I'm calling him my son. You know, we are the servants of God. We are the creation of God. That's why, you know, because imagine, give you an example, imagine I have a cow, I bring you a cow, and I bring you a chicken, and I say the chicken is a child of the cow. I mean, no, no, it doesn't make any sense. Cow is a cow and chicken is chicken. God, there's nothing like unto God. God is the creator and we are the creation. So we're not the children of God, we are the servants of God. So where this word son of God came from, you know Constantine, you know Constantine? Yeah. yeah. Constantine, he was a pagan worshiper. He used to believe in a son God, S-U-N, yes? Also they used to believe God has a son. For example, Mithra. Mithra, they believe he was born on the 25th of December 
and they believe it was a son no, of God. I know that it, no, yeah. I'm so totally it, confused about that, Christmas and that is paganism. So what I would say to you to make it clear to you, look, when you come to the Islamic teaching, it's simple. There is only one God. How we describe himself, look how Allah describes himself, which something goes in line with our sound reasoning, our natural inclination. Say, O Muhammad, Allah is one. Allah is a master, self-sufficient. He's not in need of nothing. Everything is in need of him. Lam yalid, he begat not. Walam yulid, and no one gave birth to him. Okay? Walam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. And there's nothing like unto Allah. Allah is the creator and we are the creation. Allah has mercy. Allah has a love. But all also Allah has a justice, has a wisdom. You understand? Has anger, attribute of anger, attribute of mercy, attribute of love. So when you look why? Allah creates us and he chose people amongst us. He chose Abraham, Moses, to, to tell us how to worship God. So as a Muslim, I believe if I, all the Muslims will believe the same thing. If I was alive at the time of the mighty messenger Jesus, the true Messiah, and uh, Jesus come to me, in order for me to be saved, I have to follow Jesus' teaching. Before Jesus is Moses. Of course, there's many. All they, they, following yeah, yeah. The all of them came. Now the last prophet is Muhammad. He came to teach us how to worship Allah. Because Jesus' teaching was specific for that time. Specific for people. Likewise, Moses. But Prophet Muhammad, his teaching is for everyone. You understand? That's why. I, know, I think in the Bible, I can't remember where it, there, there's a pastor really saying, you're going to come another one after me. You're right. So Jesus, Jesus I'm said... confused about who was talking, but... Yeah. That, you're right. You're right. Spot on. Jesus said, there's a lot of stuff to tell you, but I cannot tell you right now. But the Father will send to the Comforter. Some Christians know that. They say it's the Holy Spirit. But that's incorrect because when Jesus was alive, or when he was on the earth, the Holy Spirit was with him. But he's talking about someone in the future, he will speak more in details. And when we look to Prophet Muhammad, he spoke about God in depth, about his legislation, about the day of judgment in depth. Like if you go to the Old Testament, even the New Testament, doesn't not speak about the, the day of judgment in details. Doesn't. Doesn't speak about the day of judgment in details. You know, but the Quran speaks in details. So what Jesus said, it applies to Prophet Muhammad. I, can't, but I cannot tell you right but now. How did it change? Because, okay, there are a lot of Bible, it's true. That's and, true. Uh, I believe that because of translation sometimes, not, I won't say that they changed the world, but they misunderstood the translation. So that's why some people have different Bibles, everyone believes in whatever. Because they didn't translate well every word from the original Bible that is in Judaism. No, we don't have the original one. What you have to understand, because you want to speak of the Bible, the Bible, no, not because of the translation. Okay. I even, believe that there are some Bible that they modify. I yeah, yeah, they change even that. the wording. I that. Do you know why? Do you know why? I've seen even. Uh, yeah, because of King James. Orthodox and Catholic that I noticed some but difference. But this one you said that it's not modificated. Chris no, said that yeah, it's not quite modificated. This it, one is the New Testament yeah. in English. No, no, but even, even yeah. the New Testament. Look, to make it clear to you, yeah? Okay. What language Jesus spoke? Judaism. No, he spoke Aram. Aram Judaism. No, 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 no Hebrew. Aram. No Hebrew. He spoke Aramaic. Aram. Yeah, the, is, yeah, the, the area, Aramaic or Syriac, yeah? Do we have that language? We don't have it anymore, that's firstly. Secondly, the, the teaching of Jesus we have in Greek, yes? Yes, true. Okay, so now we have a language or teaching of Jesus in Greek. Do we know the translators? We don't know them. If you don't know someone, can you trust him? No, I don't, you don't know him. In order for me to trust you, I have to know you, ask about you, are you trustworthy, are you truthful, by investigating, yeah? So we don't know. So how can we trust what the, they said about Jesus is true? That's one. The other thing also, the er, you know what is manuscript? Yeah. yeah. The earliest manuscript that we have for the New Testament, put the Old Testament aside, for the New Testament, the earliest one we have is like 400 years gap between Jesus. Missing. Yeah, there's a gap. So basically, to make you understand, someone came 400 years after Jesus and he started writing which we have Matthew and Mark and Luke John, John writing saying Jesus said this, Jesus did that, and Jesus said that. We don't know him. I'm talking about Mohammed. No, I'm talking about the, 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 the Jesus, I'm talking about the Bible, the New Testament. No, the, the gap is that 400 years. Yeah, 400. Exactly. The writers of the New Testament, yes. The earliest manuscript, g give me the book, sister. Yeah. This book was not given to you by Matthew directly. 
This book is based upon something called manuscripts. Manuscripts that they, found in. they found in the cave, and the, 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 in the earth, inside or somewhere. Okay. The earliest one we have, manuscript backdated, the gap between Jesus and the earliest New Amen. Testament, 400 years. Someone come after 400 years to, to write the Bible again. Yeah. How he can uh, give you true uh, information? True information. How? How it can, yeah. can does happen? Yeah, so how can you trust him? Because we don't know him. Yeah. So we don't know. That. For example, if I said something in Arabic, yeah, the sister can translate because you know her, you trust her, she will translate correctly. But if you don't know her, you're not sure if what she's going to translate is correct or not. Okay, so that's why there's many problems about the Bible. When it comes to the Quran, like let's come to the Quran now. You know, one of the miracles of the Quran, Allah made it easy to be memorized. Allah mentioned the verse in Arabic. Allah said, He doesn't have God that he's provided. Uh... No, no, we don't, we don't follow manuscripts. We as a Muslims, not like the Christians and the Jews. We don't go to the caves. Start... But we have a lot of copies that the same as Bible. So... No, we, but we don't rely on the copies. We rely on memorization. To make it clear to you now, if the Jewish people, yes, now, now, if the Jewish and the Christians and the Muslims, all of them decide to burn the scriptures, they say, you know what, let us burn the Quran, the Bible, the Old Testament, the New Testament. We should, no, we should not leave nothing in the written form. The only book will be with us is the Quran, because, because what is in the heart. Yeah. Hundreds million of Muslims memorize it word for word. Not the scholars. We have Christians also, I know they are. No, 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 there's no Christian memorize the Bible. No way. I know. I've been doing this for 10 I, years. I met some that can tell me like every verse without missing a single word. No, word by word. They are, yeah, no, they, uh, no, 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 no. Baptist. Yeah, yeah, but there's no, there's no. Baptist. I think, yeah. I think maybe one page, or maybe, yeah. But no whole Bible. No way. No way, there's no. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, there's no, there's no. You know what? Bible, but I know that he knows. But even. They ask me and I tell you the best. Yeah, no, like for example, you can ask me. I'll tell you Matthew 17, 21. What does it say? I can tell you in Mark 13, 32. What does it say? I can tell you in Ezekiel. Doesn't mean I memorize the whole Bible. No. You understand? Yeah. So memorizing passages, when you come to the Muslims, the Muslim children, the age of nine and 10, memorize the Quran word for word and letter for letter. This is why you don't need the Bible after it's all Quran. You don't need it in the written form. You see, that's why since the time Prophet Muhammad, there were people, their job to memorize the Quran and teach it in the mosques. And we still have them. They are known to call Al Qurra, scholars of Quran. That's why the Quran will never be lost. Okay, I have one more question. Yeah. So that's why. So before I, I let you in, ask. In so one second, one second. Before you ask question, I want to conclude with this. That's why logic dictates. Our logic dictates. We should worship God based upon a book that has been preserved, not based upon a book that has been corrupted. And the book that has been preserved is so the Quran. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Because God is the most wise, correct? Yeah. No doubt. The most wise will never leave us with the, tr with, with the truth mixed up with the falsehood. Rather, he will clarify the truth to us. And that is in the Quran. I'll let you carry on now. You want to ask questions? Other question was, I think, uh, who proved that Muhammad is the last prophet of God? The proof, yeah. the proof that we have. Uh, in fact, I know I told you in the Bible, is, there is a person that you, when Jesus said that we're going to come one after me. I remember that person. I can't remember what he said, Matthew. Yeah. But what proof exactly that it, the one that, that Jesus is talking that Muhammad about? is really our prophet. I mean, firstly, let us, if we establish, if we establish that Muhammad is a prophet of Allah, yeah, logic dictates. Allah will not choose a liar to convey his message. Allah will choose truthful people, honest people. Do you agree? He was honest. Yeah, he was, I can give you many examples from his life. This person must be honest person, all right? Let me give you one example. During his lifetime, his, his friend was married to a woman. He loved her so much, this woman, yeah? So what happened, this woman, she won't divorce. She left him. She asked for divorce and he used to follow her in the street, okay? And the Prophet Muhammad, he said to his, to his other friends, he said, are you not amazed how much he loves her and how much she hates him? Anyway, Prophet Muhammad went to her. He went to her and he told her, why don't you go back to him? And remember, she believes that he's a messenger of Allah. So she told him, oh Prophet Muhammad, 
are you telling me because Allah told you that I have to go back to him? Or you try to help us? If he was a liar, what he would have done? He would have said, yes, Allah told me, so go back to my friend. Why he said, he said, no, Allah never told me. I'm trying to help. If you want to go back, go back. If you, don't, if you don't want to go back, don't go back. That is not characteristics of a liar. A liar, evil person, especially someone claims It's going to affect his benefit. Benefit for his friend. Because, you know, he's going to use, he's going to manipulate, you know. I'll give you another one. Once the Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu salam, you know, eclipse. Yeah. Eclipse, yeah? Solar eclipse. Happened when his son Ibrahim passed away. When his son Ibrahim died. So his followers, they saw eclipse. And they said the reason there's eclipse because the Prophet Muhammad salam, son passed away. If he was a liar, remember, a liar will try to utilize anything to justify his lies. You know, any opportunity. What he did, he said, no, the eclipse that happened has nothing to do with my son's life and no one's death or life. This is from God. If you see it, pray to God. What he did, he never connects himself to, he never connect the people to him. He connect them to who? To God. And he never used that a uh, great event of eclipse in his favor. Do you understand? Yeah, he could say that because, yeah, because the power son, they had to the power. Look, my son died. Look what happened. That is a clear proof. This man is not a liar. I can give you many, many. Once he was going to the house, someone invited him. He was going, his friend was following him. So he knocked the door, looked to his mannerism. He knocked the door, the host opened the door. The messenger of Allah told him, he's been following me. It's up to you. You want to bring him in or you can tell him to go back because you never invite him. If he was a liar, he would have said, look, my friend came to me and I'm a messenger of Allah. You cannot tell him to go back. He has to come in. No, he gave the option to the person. He said, no. So we can see during his life, there is many things he could have used to manipulate the people, but he never used it. You know why? Because he knows Allah is watching him. And Allah mentioned. If you live by the word of God, you, you cannot lie. You cannot lie. <laughs> Barakallah. The sister telling me even his enemies, they used to call him the trustworthy, truthful one. Even his enemies. So if we accept that and we accept the prophet of Allah, then and the Quran is the word Allah. The Quran mentions that Muhammad, the verse in Arabic, and that's the beauty of the Quran. We still recite it the way it was revealed. وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُلُ أَفَإِنْ مَا تَعْفُونَ This is what Ali Imran. The other verse. وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ uh, The other verse. مَا كَانَ مُحَمَّدٌ أَبَا أَحَدٍ مِنْ رِجَالِكُمْ وَلَكِنْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ وَخَاتَمِ النَّبِيِّينَ Another qira'a. وَخَاتِمِ النَّبِيِّينَ So there's two. Uh, the Allah said in the Quran, Muhammad is not a father of you, any of you. Muhammad is the last messenger. He's a servant of Allah and the last messenger. That's one thing. Logically speaking now, now from a logical point of view, why Muhammad is the last messenger? All right? One question that I always been curious again is that I know that uh, the prayer has to pray to facing the West. Why? Not the West. Depends where you're from. Qibla. Like Qibla depends. Like we're from Britain, we have to face Southeast. It depends where you are located. I, I understood that it's something connected to Abraham. Or... No, no, you talk about, you talk about the Bible. No, no, the Bible is nothing about praying to. No, yeah, 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 there is, the yeah, not the West, the East. East. No, yeah, yeah, it's saying that he built the battle yeah. facing the it's, West. It's, it Jacob. Say about praying with the, to the, the East, with. to the East, yeah, to the East. No, I just so it's not. You don't have to face West. When no, no, no. We have to face Mecca. Yeah, yeah. Mecca. Mecca, which is from here, South East. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't. Ah, okay. So if you are in Mecca, what to face? Okay. Face the Kaaba. No, the Kaaba. Kaaba, yeah. Kaaba, yeah, yeah. You face the Kaaba. So, yeah. Right. So, but and because because Allah told us, and that shows you unity, unity of the souls. Because imagine you from Romania, I'm from Algeria. He's from Jamaica. This person from Sudan or Morocco, Pakistan. All of us we pray toward the same direction. That feeling of unity. You see, so Islam, you know, Islam pays great attention to unity, unity of the souls, unity of the bodies, but unity upon the truth. Not just for the sake of unity. So, for example, Islam, we pray five times a day for a man in the mosque. So, imagine we pray five times a day. You pray five, five times a day also at home. At home, but it's better to be in the, in the mosque. If you can. If you yeah. No, no, if you can. If you're working, uh, there's something else. Yeah, no, no, that. If you're working or you have to go to hospital, it's not. But let me show you the beauty of Islam. And how old do you know 
how to face Mecca if you are go. You have no, idea. no, there is direction. You can use like uh, south east, like yeah, you like here. This south is compass now. Use the sun. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Don't worry, no. <laughs> but I was going to mention something yeah? before I go. Let me go back to the main point about why Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger from a rational point of view. Yeah, I'll tell you why. And this Sheikh, one of our scholars mentioned it by the way, not from my head. He mentioned every time Allah sent another prophet, there's a reason. There's four reasons for Allah to send another prophet. One of the reasons, the prophet that Allah sent, it was only for that specific time. So Allah will send another prophet for another time. Okay, that's the first reason. Second reason, when that prophet's teaching is being corrupted. So Allah will send another prophet to clarify the truth. Okay, so first one, prophet was sent for specific time. That's what Allah sent another prophet. Second one, the prophet that came before, his teaching was corrupted. Allah will send another prophet to clarify. The third one, Allah will send the prophet specific for people, for specific people, Bani Israel, for Israelites. Yes, so Allah will send another prophet to different people. Yes, the last reason, Allah will send a prophet, another prophet, to aid and to help that prophet. For example, at the time of Yasin or Jesus and John, Yahya, the prophet John. Yes, so all these four reasons, after sending Prophet Muhammad, we can see the Quran and the Sunnah Islamic teaching being preserved. Prophet Muhammad was sent to everyone. Prophet Muhammad's teaching is valid for all the times. And if Allah wants to send someone to aid Prophet Muhammad, he would have sent it during his lifetime. He never did. Therefore, logically speaking, that's why Prophet Muhammad's teaching is the last uh, prophet. Also, Prophet Muhammad's teaching uh, spread out around the world it was too fast. You know, the, the, the before, in, in the year after Prophet Muhammad passed away, 40 years, the Muslim empire, the Islamic empire, it was in the border of China, Africa, or 70 years maybe, Africa, and to Paris. Look how Allah spread Islam, you understand? And even now, Islam is spreading in the Western world. You know, it's understood that Islam also has different factions like uh, Aisha. No, Shia, Sunnah. Shia, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We come to it after, we come to it after. Yeah. But what is happening now, this is what our Prophet Muhammad told us. So when we see there's groups, we say Prophet Muhammad is a true messenger of Allah because he told us about it when all the Muslims, they were only one group. He told us that will happen, but he never left, left us without any clarification. He told us what is the correct way. He said to follow his way and the way of his companions, the way of the Sahaba, disciples. So that's why, why Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger. As for the prayer, praying all together, imagine you're going through hardship. When you come to the mosque, I wouldn't know, I say, how are you, brother? We say, Akhi, Akhi, my brother. And he say, you know, Shamsi, I'm going through hardship. Yeah, Akhi, Jamal, come, my brother, come. We try to help. So Islam build good society. Prophet Muhammad told us, the Muslim Ummah is like one body. If any part of the body feel pain, the rest of the body feel pain. Prophet Muhammad told us, alayhi wa sallam, woe to the person who goes to sleep and his belly is full while his neighbor hungry. Hungry, woe well to him. You know, woe well to him. You know, uh, our neighbor, even if, it's not, even if our neighbor is not a Muslim, we have to take care of him. We have to look after him. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, no, no doubt. Jesus, we believe. But like I said, let me make something clear to you. I believe. I mean, Jesus spoke. That's why you probably... Yeah, yeah. I believe there's some truth in the Bible. No doubt. Because I believe in Jesus, Moses. However, I believe it was corrupted. Quran, so yeah, yeah. Even yeah, yeah. But I believe it was corrupted by Paul and by Constantine. Because both of them had a vision, and both of them start talking about Jesus to be God, Trinity, which doesn't make any sense. Trinity doesn't make any sense. Like the Father is God. So we have one God, it's enough. No, the Son is God. One of those, why all the food you have to eat, I mean, meal, meat for him, you know, yeah. it has to be halal. Well, can I talk to you a few minutes? It's in the Bible. No, no, before I'm talking to him, Baba. He's more, and the Muslims, eh? He's Aula, you know, he's a daif, he's a guest. It's Yes. So the Bible is nothing about halal. So why uh, did the Quran say about eating halal? Why this way? I mean, the Bible say for, you have to thank drinking. God for everything you eat. Because why is halal? Why is halal? Not about killing. I've been trying. To halal, stop. halal, halal. When you say Bismillah. So if you say in the name of Allah and you slaughter it, it's halal. You see to bless it, you know. And that is on the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, you know Allah would too eat uh, 
um, pork. pork. Yeah. 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 Uh, and you're not allowed to eat other things as well. There's many things you're not allowed to eat in the Old Testament. Yeah, they change it because Jesus then after say something like, not it's not about the law. in your body, yeah. get you dirty, but what come out of your mouth, it has come from your heart. Yeah, but again, Jesus said that. <laughs> it's something we cannot really trust because why? Jesus also in the Bible said, I didn't come to abolish the law or the prophets. I came to fulfill it. Not to go against it, you know. When the young boy came to Jesus in John, I'm just using it to show you, you can see many contradictions. The young boy came to, to Jesus. He said, oh, good master, what shall I do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? Meaning, how can I get to paradise? Jesus, alayhi salam, said to him, keep the commandments of God. What is the commandment of God here? I mean the Torah. The young boy said to him, I have been doing it since I was young. Jesus said to him, you are lacking one thing. The young boy said to him, what is it? He said, give your wealth away and follow me. Give your wealth, wealth away and follow me, follow, okay? Now we can see clearly Jesus, he's telling the young boy to keep what? The Torah. And the Torah, what does he say? To not eat uh, pork and to not eat other things, you understand? So in Islam, yes, that's why in Islam, yes, there's certain things we allow to eat and certain things we're not allowed to eat because logic dictates Allah is the creator of everything. So logically, he knows what is good for us in details. Barakallahu fi gavit. Barakallahu fi Jazakallah He knows what is good for us in details. Why don't we hear the pork? Because I know pork is one of the reasons that you get a lot of infection. Yeah, yeah, no, this so is. Yeah. I will understand a bit why. No, but even, even. That time, that it's yeah, but fun. even God giving you something. Remember, God giving you something and telling you to say, in the name of Allah, you have to listen to your God. And you want to bless it. In the name it. of Allah. Uh, I spoke to him. Yeah, I spoke to him many times. Anyway, no, you the, the, to speak to me many times. And I'm gonna do it not again. I'm refusing to speak to you another time. Okay. I just want to know so what's the now name of Allah. I'm speaking to him. So and now uh, we say Bismillah as to appreciate God. What's and what name? I will say to you. So his name's Yahweh. Imagine your father bring you to the house, and he said you have to follow the rules. As a father, he is the owner of the house. You follow the rules. Yeah. But your father doesn't, yeah, your father doesn't know everything though. But Allah knows everything. Allah is the all wise. So whatever Allah told us to stay away from, is bad for us. And whatever Allah, 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 Jalla wa Allah told us to do, is good for us. I can give you an example. You know, Islam, Islam, I forgot your name, what's your name? Peter. Peter, yeah, Peter, Mark, I won't remember it now. Peter, because the Bible said, you know, what we say to Peter, what is distinguished Islam? What makes Islam very special and very unique in any religion? Listen to this carefully, yeah? Islam came to preserve five things. Islam came to preserve five things. Islam came to preserve religion, the oneness of Allah. That's why in Islam, we're not allowed to pray to Prophet Muhammad. We're not allowed to pray to anything. We pray to Allah directly. Yeah, directly. We're not allowed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For reminding me. Shukr, shukr. So and now, firstly, we're not allowed to pray to Prophet Muhammad. Also, we're not, we're not allowed to be pagan. Paganism is haram, it's forbidden. Polytheism is forbidden. Now, second one, Islam. Second, Islam came to preserve intellect. Intellect. That's why Islam, alcohol, and drugs is forbidden. Everything that's third day is forbidden. Damaging. Yes. Thirdly, Islam came to preserve wealth. That's why gambling and interest is forbidden. Fourthly, Islam came to preserve life. Uh, sorry, lineage. Gambling because it's a high Anything that can create a dependence of how to Destroy, destroy societies. Addicted. Yeah, addicted. Yeah, addicted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seen, no, uh, or destroy societies. Societies. They destroy societies, yeah. Also, Islam came to preserve lineage, families. That's why fornication, adultery is forbidden. Islam came to preserve life. That's why killing people unjustly and committing suicide is forbidden. These five things Islam came to preserve. The opposite of that is alcohol. In the Bible, alcohol is allowed. Wine. Wine yeah, is the blood of Jesus. something like you can drink, but it's it, there is no misery. You can mm. a drop or a glass yeah, no. to get you drunk and yeah. you get reason to other people to talk bad about you because they see you drunk, mm. then don't drink. But it's not like not drinking, it's more like 
because it cannot be so your needle may be a, a, a drop and you get drunk, What's right? The point today? Just a drop you get drunk and another one has a glass and you get drunk. So he cannot put the meat. But Peter, Peter, sorry, wait. Peter will say to you, scientifically proven now, if someone can Google it, even small amount of alcohol is harmful for our body. I don't believe the almighty God will even allow for us uh, alcohol because well, alcohol is a very harmful to us. You understand? And you believe... And there is no story when Jesus went to the Canaan... And make a wine. No, no, we don't believe that. Yeah. No, no, we don't believe that. that yeah. That's from the Greek. Greek they lost, they, they, the, the Romans, they still like to drink too much. Because so they want to justify it. It was correlated to, kind of, to the Genesis when he's saying the third day, Jesus transformed the world. The water into the wine. He taking to make a correlation with God when he did Yeah, we don't believe that. Later. No, we don't believe that. Like I said, again, the, the, those riots of the Bible, there's many things if you start questioning yourself and questioning their trustworthiness, you know. But what we say to you, what we say to Peter, that's why, you know, no doubt, gambling, interest, fornication, and all of that, some people do benefit from them. Who are they? Those who are in power. They make money from them. That's why majority of times, those who are very hostile to Islam, those who are in power, because they look at Islam as a threat for their business. They will go back. They use their money to make Islam look bad through the mainstream media. You know, even though Islam... I know. Yeah. But I, I know also that some bad things that happen about uh, Islam, they say it's not uh, it's because they are a faction, not uh, specific. Though. Yeah, no, no, no doubt. But what I would say to you, look, they, 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 I don't, look, I'll show you the hypocrisy of the Western media. Do you know about the, the Christian uh, soldiers in, in uh, Central Africa who are killing the Muslims? You don't know, because why? The mainstream media will never tell you about them. There is a, and I don't blame every Christian. I don't, like, as a Muslim, Allah teach me to be just. There is, do you know about the Christians in Brazil that they kill other Christians? There is, there, but you never see them in the mainstream media in the Western world. But when it comes to Muslim, one Muslim stabbed someone in the cave in Algeria you see in the live stream media here. Yeah. He said, oh, a Muslim stabbed someone in the cave in Algeria. Because they look for anything to make Islam look bad. But even that, the far... Yeah. One question that he insists a lot of it. Why you don't consider Jesus as a son of God and you say that Jesus is only prophet? He's a Messiah too. Now we just discuss, yeah. alhamdulillah. He's a Messiah. But what we say to you, look, on, on Friday, someone from Romania became Muslim. He's a third person. There's three of them, you know? And the other person as well. So what we say to you, that um, when you come to Islam, there's a war against it. But what is the fastest growing religion in the Western world? Yeah, which religion is spreading more? Islam. Islam. You know, in Britain, Islam is inclining, going up, Christianity is going down. Christianity is spreading 100 factions. You know, Christianity is dying. Churches are empty. You know, because Islam, especially with this evil agenda, what's happening now, you know, this evil agenda that is pushing on our children, our families, the only religion that is standing firm against it is Islam. Islam, we don't back down. We don't play around. Yes. Allah created man, woman, chicken, rat. There's no chicken, rat, rat, chicken, mixing stuff. You understand? Confusing. Yeah. You understand? So what I would say to you, we look to Islamic teaching, how it goes in line with our sound reasoning, with our natural inclination. Of course, you want to worship God. I want to worship God. But how are we going to worship God? According to our desires? Following the rules that Islam Okay, follows. that's it. And like I said to you, how can I follow a Bible, a book that is being translated firstly by people who don't know them? Secondly, those who wrote the Bible, we don't know them. How can I trust it? When the Quran, there's many miracles. One of the miracles of the Quran, Peter, Allah challenged people to bring something like it. And no one is able to bring something like the Quran in its eloquency, in its prophecies, in its legislation. You know, the structure of the Quran. You know, when you, look to the, when you listen to the Quran, Arabic language, for example, let me mention something you guys remember. To show that Prophet Muhammad was not a, he was an honest person, not a liar. Did you know in the Quran, there's a chapter named after the mother of Jesus, called Mary? I told yeah, you in the Quran. That's my name, even. MashaAllah, Maryam. MashaAllah, Maryam. There's a chapter, Maryam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaking about the mother of Jesus. Do you know where? When Prophet Muhammad was in Medina. In Medina, 
There was Mecca and Medina. Medina, there were a lot of Jewish people in Medina. And the Jewish people in Medina, they believed Jesus was not a Messiah. He was a false prophet. And the Prophet Muhammad was there defending him, alayhi salatu wasalam. When we know, he will not get no benefit if he was a liar for defending Jesus in Medina to Jewish people. Because if he's a main target just to bring followers, he would have agreed with who? With the Jewish people to have more followers. Liar. Yeah, he but what he did... But then explain to me something. Why then that meeting? The Quran cannot be modified. Okay? So a single Quran, you cannot change add anything. So that, uh, because it's perfect. Because but, it's perfect. Yeah, okay. Then Can why, you change perfect? They are faction of Islam. That's they good. They believe in different things. What happened? That's, good. That's a good point. Because some Muslims, they like to follow their cultures. For example, I'll give you an example which is widespread here. Here, some Muslims, they force their daughters to get married to someone. I know that. Yes, that's not Islam. Would even they try to make it Islam? I'll give you a proof for that. Prophet Muhammad, when he was alive, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, a woman came to him. She said, "Oh, Messenger of Allah, my father got me married to someone without asking." So the Messenger of Allah, Prophet Muhammad, alaihi wasallam, told her, "You have a right to leave." She said, "Oh, Messenger of Allah, I don't want to leave. I want to stay, but I want people to know they should not force their daughters." to get married to someone they don't like. Secondly, we have some Muslims, when it comes to speaking about Allah, they speak about Allah according to the Greek philosophy. Why? Because they feel inferiority complex. They start using the Greek philosophy to explain Allah's attributes about Allah. And it's happened to the Christians as well, and to the Jewish people. So we can see why they left, not because they are following, because how do we know who's following the truth, who is not? Prophet Muhammad told us. That's why there's no prophet after him, because whatever we need, he has told us. But like I said, some people, they like to follow their desires. For example, let me give you an example. How many times you go to shop and they tell you, CCTV in cooperation? Most of the time. That's the, people still, still, people still, still, still take stuff and run away. Yeah, even though it's clear, stuff. even though it's clear, don't steal, you're going to go to prison. Is the problem with the law, the problem with the person himself? Do you understand? For that, I Can I ask you a couple basic no, questions? No, 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 no. After, after I'm speaking to him. After. This is a special guest. You know, you are not a special guest. We've been here many times. And I still yeah. have an answer <laughs> from you. Yeah. Uh, first time I don't have the answer for you anyway, so you can leave. So you don't know the name of yeah, Allah? Yeah. Uh, no, I know Allah's name, but you can leave. What is the name of Allah? Okay, you just said it. You just said it in the question, anyway. bro. Uh, it's like... It's like... It's like... It's like... It's like... It's you don't know your name, Zekaria. Peter, you don't know your name, Peter. Imagine, I'm telling you, Peter. And you don't know your name. I just He's Allah. Jesus was the name. Okay. Anyway, so. I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in Jesus either, but. Excuse me, we're not interested. We don't want to speak to you. Wanna, you never want to debate. So no, why no, you keep coming? I don't want to listen to you, please. I know, because yeah. you guys are okay. Jesus okay. worshippers. We don't we worship Baal. We don't worship Jesus. We don't. Yeah, you guys believe in Jesus. Anyway, go ahead. Do you have another question? You don't worship Yeshua? I am. So what is the name of Allah? The Bible was a bit confusing. What is the name of Allah? In the New Testament, when they had a lot of, you know, like uh, Trinity and uh, then it's, it's feeling like it's not complete. Like, you're right, yeah, you're right. If you say that you're going to be a prophet, but then after this, no one came up. No prophet. Why? Yeah, I had my dad you know, on my way, I don't say. And then I made her and I talked to her. Alhamdulillah, she explained to you. And what prophet so, she helped you, Masha'Allah. Allah. Sorry? She helped you as well? Um, we had a lot of uh, conversation. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Agitated conversation at least. Alhamdulillah. You don't want to. So, what we say, what we say to you. Just, you know that. I say to you that when you look to, like I said to you, no doubt we cannot trust the Bible. Hallelujah. Mostly Hallelujah. I told you because of the translation. We don't know how much it's being modified. That's it. Exactly. But the point, you can't trust it. How much? Yeah. yeah. But when it comes to Quran, we know exactly what Allah said because we have it in a pure language. Also, we have a chain of narration, narrators. Like me, I learned Quran from some brother called Nordin. Nordin, he learned from someone. We know. We know each other. for. We know their names, their biographies. Even we have a manuscript, no doubt. We have a manuscript. It's true that I, all my life, I, I mean, a part of mass media, that is true. Mass media is always trying to put... 
the Muslim and so I, say, say again? I'm not I'm not really a believer of Muslim anyway, but I, I, if it really happened something was that as I said some, there are some factions that think differently, like killing they are allowed to kill because uh, what, about what? Uh, sorry. In, uh, I think maybe someone said that if you are allowed to kill someone who is not Christian, like it's happening. No, like no, no. Prophet Muhammad. That's what I say. Some faction, I believe, they, they went different. Yeah, but that faction, they, they opposed. They themselves Islam. Yeah, I mean, like, what we remember, uh, we, we follow Islam, not the Muslims. Okay? Because there are some Muslims do haram. Does it mean that it's Islam? Haram. Haram means stuff which is sin, sin, forbidden things. Forbidden things, yeah? So we follow Islam. Islam is perfect. Muslims are not perfect. Exactly. That's okay? what yeah. Islam is from God. Muslims are human beings. They have desires. They make mistakes. You understand? So well, let me make something clear to you. In Islam, Allah told us clearly in the Quran. I will say in Arabic, then I will translate it in English, yeah? لا ينهاكم الله عن الذين لم يقاتلكم في الدين ولم يخرجوكم من دياركم أن تبروهم وتقسطوا إليهم إن الله يحب المقسطين الله does not forbid you to deal justly and kindly with those who never fight against you for example I have a Christian that is my neighbor he never attacked me he never tried to kill me Allah told me to be nice to him and to be good to him. Because he's low. Yeah, that, exactly. if no, he's even, even, even if he hates me. Imagine he said, I hate you. I can't go kill him because he hates me. I remember even the Bible say that if you've been hit on the, or clapped on the face, you have to turn another side. I don't know about that. Me, I can't, yeah, it's, I know. it's a bit too much. It's, yeah, it's yeah, a bit too much. much. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's like, it's like someone coming to kill your the mother kind of, and you give him your sister. Kind of, uh, try to be peaceful. Control. Try to be peaceful, yes. But, but, but Peter, what we have to understand, the world we're living in, Sometimes you have to fight, defend yourself. But try your best to stay away. Try, try your protect best. Protect yourself. Not when no, you fight or that's, or that's, defend yeah. yourself. That's what Allah said. Uh, it's in not anymore probably the time was in the past when they were talking about turning your face to be slapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they will... No, no, people... Uh, Allah, Allah said, in ta'fu wa tasfahu. If you forgive and overlook, that is good for you. The meaning of the first. Yeah. yeah. That's what I told him. No, you know, so sister, that's a good point. about forgiving yeah, also go around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it is in Quran also the, the way of saying you have to forgive 77 times or 7 per day. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Seek forgiveness from Allah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, this is uh, about if you see a Muslim brother doing something, you have to have excuses for him. 70 excuses. Plus, it's not my role to judge. To judge so. uh? It's not my role to judge him or whatever he done. Yeah, 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 no, no, we have to understand. Sometimes people have the excuses. For example, maybe one day you're walking, you are walking, and you see me coming out of uh, a gambling place. Oh, okay, no, no, I won't. I mean, I'll. Yeah, you your think mind, you, your mind you cannot help it. Your yeah? Mind, yeah, but maybe I'm just using the bathroom. So I need the bathroom in the I'm saying, your, your mind yeah. will go quick to react. And react. Say, but Islam teaches you to control gambling. it. It's that you know. But you don't know the true story behind. That's it. Never you don't. Before knowing the, story. the full picture. You're right. One hundred percent. That's what Islam teaches us. That you should not straight away start guesswork, misjudging people. Yeah. So what we say to you, Peter? Yeah. You know, Islam. Like I said to you, you want to worship God. You cannot keep worshiping God based upon a book that's corrupted. That is, there's a modified, changed. But the Quran is clear. Or, will be but then it will be a bit of contradiction because in the Bible they just asking you to believe that God, uh, Jesus being the son of God and he depend on us to die for you for your sin and I, I could just stop there and say okay if I believe that Jesus died for my uh, sins my sins and uh, I believe in that you see sacrifice yes. I so go to heaven obviously you have to still follow the rules like be good do not kill not lie not steal and so on so, but you can but, do a sin and you will be forgiven. It's so easy. No judgment because he died for oh, you. But I, told you that, but I understand that it has a point. Uh, his story, the Jesus story, or me even more. No, no, what we say to you, look, you know this story of Jesus died for our sins. That go against the Old Testament. The Old, Old Testament. Testament say ten rules. No, no, there's many rules. There's, no, there's ten commandments. 10, yeah, there's many, many. There's, uh, there's uh, over a hundred of uh, rules. 
yeah. over the Bible, yeah. yeah. But then they, no, no, the Old Testament. They, for the men, it's too much to follow. So they give them, just follow the same rules. And if you follow them, you'll be fine. No, no, what I'm talking, there are more. No, but what I'm talking about is that in the Old Testament, like about Trinity, you know, but Trinity is not in the Old Testament. Even the New Testament is not clear. But in the Old Testament, if you commit sin, you should be responsible. If I commit sin, I should be responsible. But in the Christianity, Jesus died for your sins. You go and guess Genesis, uh, Deuteronomy. In Deuteronomy, you know, it says. From me, I mean, uh, Protestants, we don't have that. You, you believe I mean, Jesus died for your sins? Responsible. We don't have, uh, we, bap we take the bap baptism. Baptism. When we decide it, not young age or. Yeah, but you believe Jesus died for your sins? I believe, sorry? Jesus died for our sins. That go yeah, and guess. Wait, uh, no, uh, because in the Bible, the Old Testament teach you no one should die for your sins. My family sins because of even my sins probably before I baptized, probably I would say. Because when you baptize, that's what you, you swear, you say. Uh, uh, okay. okay, Peter, let me tell you, let me help you make clear. Prove to me Jesus said that. That's the problem. That's why that's I'm here, no? I'm saying. You see, that's what I forgot about. This is, you can, cannot prove it. I'm just saying what I knew. Yeah, 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 no problem. You can speak, no problem, brother. Yeah, yeah, and we don't know them. It's not about just someone. We don't know them. If we know them, they were trustworthy, truthful, honest. Alhamdulillah, we accept honest, truthful, and we have a chain of narration that met each other until Jesus. Yes, but we don't know them. We don't know the translators. We don't know the manuscripts. How can we follow the book? That's what Allah said. Why are you, why are you following guesswork? Follow the truth. In yatabi'una illa dhanna wa ma tahawal anfus wa laqad ja'ahum min rabbihim al-huda. They only follow guesswork, only conjecture, only uh, assumption. Okay, so let's say uh, then Muslim way is what? Just believing that Muhammad is the last prophet in... No, no, no. Islam, first, how to become Muslim is to say there is no one worthy of worship except Allah and Muhammad is the last messenger of Allah. Then the prayer, okay? So you show your love of God through the prayer, okay? Then... You give, uh, of course, step by step. I'm just giving you. But uh, when someone becomes Muslim, we take it step by step. Not everything, you have to do everything. You know, because at the end of the day, we are human beings. You know, we, we take it step by step. So the prayer, then fasting. Okay, you fast, the month of Ramadan. Fasting is very beneficial for us. For us, for the environment, for the people, okay? Likewise, prayer is good for you. Also, charity. How many times you have people say, why there's a poverty? In Islam, there is a solution which is called sadaqah, charity. zakat, charity. charity. Yes. The yeah. Uh, uh, there's a, there's a, there's zakat. Have you ever had a discussion about, like, let's say you see someone on the street, probably young, look well, no, no, you help him. bad arm or something, and he's asking for money. Hmm. Sometimes your mind is thinking, but he's young, he can work. Why? What's he asking? For? Obviously, I won't, I don't know his story behind. It's, that's right. Your yeah. mind is going there. What yeah. are you doing in that situation? I mean, I, you know, some, some, look, I, I give some. The old one, I go straight away. Say, no, no, me is not about old one. It's not about old one. Here, I see. Yeah, but the I old one, to... I understand. It's hard to find a job. It's, it's no, but not they, impossible. They, what do you? They do pay them, but sometimes I fear that these people are smoking crack, smoking drugs. So why do I say, listen? Do you need food? I don't know that. It's not my job. That's why I do. No, no, no. But I go to them. I say, do you need food? If he says yes, oh, yeah, okay. I'll buy him food. Do you need like clothes or something? I see. Do you need, and I see if he needs money. I give him money, or and I tell him, I'm going to give you money. I don't know your situation, but if you're going to buy drugs with it, then it's, you're going to be before God. I'm going to help you. So I try my best. I'm not the best example to follow, but I try my best. But when it comes to Islam charity, there's two types. There is charity which you have to give to the poor. You have to. There's a charity which is, is voluntary. You give, you, but they, uh, which we call zakatul mad, which is to pay, to give a charity from your wealth, 2.5. From your wealth, uh, 2.5. You have to give it to the poor ones. To the, not just a poor, even traveler. Someone is traveling and he doesn't have enough money, so you help them. Alhamdulillah. But then we have... I think the Bible says something like, uh, what God gives you, you have to give back or to go to it. Yeah, you have to help. And also the, the, the Hajj. So in Islam, how do we go to paradise? Firstly, by the mercy of Allah. That's the first one. Even Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad, he said, everyone, those who deserve to go to paradise, they will go with the mercy of Allah. They said to him, oh, messenger of Allah, even you? He said, even me. I will enter the mercy of Allah. Because yes, we do good deeds, but one of the worst sin, one of the worst sin 
we need to start thinking I'm doing enough good deed, so I deserve paradise, God. No. There's narration on the day of judgment. You have to have humbleness. Humble. Yeah, humility, humbleness. Be humble to God. Because regardless how much we worship God, we worship Allah, you will never be able to repay back Allah for his blessings. Even your eyes. There's narration on the day of judgment. Allah will say to the angels, take my servant to paradise because of my mercy. The servant will say, no Allah, because of my good deeds, I've been worshiping you for 80 years. Allah will say, bring him back. Take the blessings of his eyes, put it on a scale and put his good works on the other scale. The blessings of the eyes is more heavier. He said, what you've done doesn't even equal to the blessings of the eyes, let alone the other blessings. So he's, Allah said, take him to hellfire because of his good deeds. He said, no, no, Allah, I want paradise because of your mercy. So Allah teaching us what? Regardless how much you worship Allah, always be humble. And don't look down on people. No. You know, don't look down on people. Because looking down is a sin as well. You know, because you never know. So Alhamdulillah, Islam, here you can leave it. Christianity is about church. Be church. You know, Islam is not just for you and me. Lifestyle. Even for the government. Yes, it's a lifestyle, a way of life. It's for you and the government. You have to implement it, you know, because when you implement the teaching of God, you have good society. You have less crime. Look at now, stabbing, knives. Yeah, knives now, you know, crazy. You know, because why we turn away from God. But when you, I, I was watching with my wife, you know, this man, he tortured, happened 2021 in Lewisham on New Cross. So these two guys, they got two students, they tortured them in New Cross, burned them, yes, and they killed them. Do you know how much they give the guy? They gave him like, 25 years or 35 years, the police officer, he said, I had to go back, try to get him alive. But even get him alive, prison here is a joke. Prison here is like hotel. You get food, you go to education, you go, I'm not, I'm not promoting the prison, yeah? Don't go to prison, brothers, okay? <laughs> you know, the job, you have, they give you a job as well, you know? It, sometimes it's better than outside. You don't have to pay bills. But Islam. But probably if all the people will be humble and they won't. I mean, also. Yeah, we have to be realistic. No yes. Yeah, we are yeah. creating to be all perfect. If we are all perfect, no, the, God will take us and. Take no, the problem with you. the problem with this prison system is not helping the problems. It's like it, it, it's not resolving the problems. But God's teaching, if you steal something, uh, something which is uh, valuable, then your hand will be gone. Bye bye to your hand. If you know that, you will not steal. No, 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 I don't want to steal. But if I know I'm going to rob someone, they're going to put me in prison for six months, and they're going to give me a job, food. I love it, man, watch TV, you know. Because they're not afraid of prison. That, prison no. is a lifestyle. A lifestyle. But if I, that's what Allah taught us in the Quran. Allah said, Allah's capital punishment, He gives you a life. What? How He give us a life? If it's a capital punishment. Because I know if I'm going to kill you, I'll be killed. I said, no, 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 no. If I kill him, I'll be killed. No. So I save two lives. I save your life and my life. Look at the Islamic legislation. That's why majority of people that hate Islamic capital punishment, either they are ignorant or themselves are criminals. That's why they have punishment. They don't like it. How, what do you mean, uh, hate the... the capital punishment. In Islam, there is a punishment for the criminals. Okay? In the Western world, that we call it Sharia. Have you heard the word Sharia? Sharia, I mean the divine law, yeah? Divine law. divine law, like taking care of your parents is a Sharia. But there is an aspect of Sharia called capital punishment. Those capital punishments is for the evil criminals, okay? Two, as a deterrent. You know what is deterrent? Deterrent, scare them away, to not do evil, okay? For example, if I know, if I kill you, I'll be killed, I'll be scared for my life. Kill by who? By the government. By the government, you go. I will explain for you because maybe you don't explain when he is talking about it, okay? It's, we have a law in Islam. If you steal, they will cut your hand. So, so you are a threat. No, but he wants to know who's they. They is the government. It's the Muslim government. That's the Muslim government. Yeah. No, they, they are not applying anymore this law because of uh, the right of human. That's what... Uh, That's not the right of human anyway. Uh, it's a joke. Right. Exactly. Because the right of human... If, if I kill you... They should kill me. Muslims, they should kill me if I kill you. But Even well, if you are not Muslim I, uh, also. Here, I'm a, if I kill someone, okay, I, I will be killed. You may deserve that, but yeah. still, who are we to decide if you have it's to be It's God who decides, not us. God. 
We are following what God say for us. If but someone also, steal, cut his hand. What's if you what? cut their hand, no one gonna steal because they are no prison. You will cut his hand. Yeah, so but he is afraid. If you kill someone, you are gonna be you killed. Kill. If if you kill him, they will kill you. So you will you will not be able to kill him. You'll be scared for your life. Otherwise, yeah. exactly. You will take his life and your but, uh, life also. That's what Islam yeah. said. To make us far away to make eye. sin. But what's about if you yeah. kill him from accident? I mean, no, nah, that's accident, different. Yeah, that's but the it, capital, the one that is that cool no, Even intentionally, even to make it clear to you as well, even intentionally, the families can forgive you. If they see you, okay, maybe you're very, yeah, very angry. About the car accident or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Even imagine now, you did it intentionally, but however, you are very angry. You can't, you just got so angry, yes? Then the family can forgive you. And Allah told us to forgive. However, if you're an evil person, you're doing it too as a, as a joke, as a fun. Yes, yes. As an accident, no. Okay. You don't get killed, no. You understand? So, and that is in the Old Testament, by the way. That a capital punishment as well. And it's good. Look now, too many crimes. Why there's too many crimes? Because the punishment is too joke. No one is afraid of people. Thank you very much. No one is afraid of punishment. But what I would tell you, Peter, to focus on the most important thing is the oneness of God. That worship God alone and follow his teaching. That's what I advise you with. Worshiping God alone. And that will never find in the Bible, because the Bible, you have to go through Jesus. Or, again, put the Bible aside, like we said. We don't know, we cannot trust it. So why you want to stick to a book we cannot trust when we have a book is a clear miracle, clear past, clear teaching and It'll also... Hard to find we it, don't trust uh, it I anymore. Have one. We yeah. don't trust the Bible, uh, the Bible anymore. We uh, don't trust halas, it. Alhamdulillah. Exactly. So you come to Islam then? Alhamdulillah. Yeah, alhamdulillah. I wouldn't come here. Alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. Exactly. So alhamdulillah, you know. Trust, Do you know how to become Muslim? Do you know what to say? I don't know. Okay, I will tell you, inshallah. You say Shahadatan and you're going to become Muslim. You have our brothers here with us. Okay, but it's clear to you? Yeah, I'm convinced. But I'm confident that I'm, not, I'm new from the. I told you about 80%. And for 20%, I'm going to be my mind being all in a lot of questions. Alhamdulillah. That's about the Bible. So that's Hala. why I, I, I search Hala. over, you know. Alhamdulillah. I'll say in Arabic, then I will translate to English, yeah? Say, Ashadu. Ashadu. She wants to record it for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa. Illa. Allah. Allah. Wa. 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 Ashadu. Ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammad. Rasul. Rasul. I have seen it. Sorry. Okay. Rasul. Rasul. Allah. Allah. In English, I bear witness. Yeah. I bear. I bear. Witness. Witness. There is nothing. There is nothing. Worthy. Worthy. Of worship, of worship, yeah, in truth, yeah. In, in truth, truth. Except, except Allah, Allah. And, and I, I bear, bear, bear witness, ah, bear with it. yeah, yeah, that Muhammad, that Muhammad is the last messenger, is the last messenger, and the servant of Allah, and the servant, servant of Allah, of Allah. and that ah, servant, servant yeah. and Jesus, and Jesus is a servant. And the messenger of Allah. My brother, I'm give you a hug, man. I'm happy for you, alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, man. Amin, amin, wa hayyak. Alhamdulillah. You're the Kuni Shia and Sufi, you're the Shia. Alhamdulillah. Wallahi. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Oh, so happy you carry to, man. You good? MashaAllah, Muhammad. MashaAllah. Too many hugs, too many hugs today. You got hugs, MashaAllah. Now it's a blessing, alhamdulillah. I'm very happy for you, Alhamdulillah. Obviously, I was, I was listening a lot of videos on the internet and so Alhamdulillah. With people uh, The Christian discussion and, uh, and yeah, the Muslims. Yeah, so. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Some question was like, still dubbing because yeah, yeah. they couldn't really, really give answer an answer to yeah. you are, uh, They found an answer but wasn't really a clear one. It's clear one. You are the fourth Romanian this week become Muslim. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. May Allah bless you, brother. Alhamdulillah, the, the glad tidings I give you. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu said, when a person becomes a Muslim, all his sins forgiven. All your sins before Khalas. So whatever you've done, Alhamdulillah. From today and... But except, except, except that Islam is based upon justice. If you talk something from someone, you give it back to him or to her. Islam is based upon justice. Understand? No, if you talk something or you are of someone, imagine she borrow you something. You have to give it back to her. You know, or someone, yeah, yeah. So I'll just show you because 
But whatever between you and Allah, Allah has forgiven you. Alhamdulillah. It's a big blessing, brother. I'm very happy for you, Alhamdulillah. Like I said, you are the third person, generally speaking, because on Friday, two people become Muslims on Friday. One of them is Romanian. The other one, she was, uh, you know, the other one, she was half Somalian, half Finlanda. Yeah, she was a sister. Somalia, from Somalia and from Finland. Finland, you know Finland? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she know because she, uh, I think her father was not a Muslim and she raised up with him. But Alhamdulillah, she backed Islam, Alhamdulillah. You know? But he will need an English Quran because I bought for him before a Quran yeah, in but Romanian, but I don't trust him so much. The, no, who's the translator? Like who's the tra you see, look, 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 look. Yeah. Peter, Peter, look what Aska. Who is the translator? Exactly, I see. Yeah, see? I didn't well, because find, you have to. I didn't find the translator, so I told yeah. him, don't read it, I don't trust but, no, him. But who is it? Let me see. No, who is I don't someone? know who translated it. Who translated this one? Abi Al Mahri. I didn't find it on Google. You it can't find who it is. No. It doesn't mm. exist, so I can't trust it. No, the, the guy. <laughs> I told you before, we should, we should trust the translator. Otherwise, I can't trust yeah. it. How should I know? Exactly, <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Where do you, where, 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 where do you live? Where do you live? Uh, in Edward. 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 You're not far from the brothers in, 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 in uh, We have classes, okay? Like, yeah, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I, I can give you my number. Alhamdulillah, you call me, inshallah, then uh, you can take it or you can. I will take it. 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 Yeah, we Alhamdulillah. are looking to marry. Alhamdulillah, it's good. And this advice for sisters, mashallah. The sisters, if you're interested in someone a non-Muslim, give him da'wah. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, because if you want good for him, because uh, a Muslim woman not allowed to marry a non-Muslim man. You know, Alhamdulillah, she, she, she cares about you. Aidi li ghadu, inshallah. Khalas? My brother, I'll give you a hug again. My brother, my brother, my Salam alaikum, inshallah. Khalas, we'll see you in the next time. We'll see you in the next time. No, here we go. Salam, salam, salam. Salam. Give peace. Yeah. MashaAllah. You see, if she I leave me alone, yeah, look what I can do. Alhamdulillah, but Allah still there. They come drive me crazy. Take it. Question. I'm going to PDF, Quran, I'm going to write a book. Inshallah. I'm going to write a book. Inshallah, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Inshallah, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You know why I'm here. I'm going to ask you about it. You're here to do it.